Hi guys, this is uh, Danny for the Rock Phone Company. So they sent me this uh, new Land Rover A9++. So uh, the site is uh, www.rockphoneco.com and uh, it's the latest uh, version of the Land Rover A9. So what's the difference between uh, the A9 Plus, which is still in production, and this uh, A9++? Uh, it's just that this one it has uh, two gig of uh, RAM instead of one, and the ROM go from four gig to uh, sixteen gig. So we'll see uh, if it works to pay uh, premium to have uh, additional memory. So this phone is a well-known phone. It's uh, today one of the most sold rock phone on the market. So it's the Land Rover A9. And it's uh, the third edition, so with uh, additional uh, RAM and ROM. Uh, the case is exactly the same as before. So we have uh, in front here uh, the home button, the menu, the return, the search. Here you have the webcam. Uh, on the side you have the photo button, camera button, uh, volume plus minus on the other side you have the power button this might be a reset uh, I need to check on the back so we have the 100 uh, GB speaker so it's actually above 100 GB it's very loud um, we have the 8 megapixel camera with a flash uh, here it's said so uh, IP68 and uh, H20 submersible. Down here we have nothing, and here we have the USB V2, micro V2, and uh, audio jack 3.5 millimeters. And it's closed well, so it seems. Uh, well uh, watertight so it's um, it's not too large what I like in the phone is you can uh, still put it in your hand and not feel too uh, too big it feel uh, very strong so it's a uh, it's a very uh, good case actually um, we drop uh, we made the drop test on a uh, older version, the first version of this one and uh, we just had a, a very very tiny scratch after a 2 meters fall and we made also the water tightness and actually uh, it's very uh, waterproofed and uh, if you compare to uh, the latest Land Rover the X8 uh, so as uh, a screen is uh, still smaller the case as you can see is uh, is uh, quite smaller, uh, but it seems uh, just a little uh, wider. So it's more thick than this uh, newest version. But uh, I think this one is much more practical, and the screen is uh, is big enough. This one is already uh, very very big. With the help of uh, this small tool, which is given in the box. I have opened the back, so it's a quite rigid back with an o-ring all around here and you have a, a second o-ring here which give a very good uh, water tightness. The battery is big, it takes uh, all the back place here. It's uh, 3000 amps and here, so it's written uh, A9, you have the dual uh, email code here in 35 and this is a place for the uh, memory card and you can have the two SIMs right here. And it's a regular size uh, SIMs. So let's put back the battery. 
and start the phone again. While the phone is uh, starting again, let's see the box and the accessories. So it's a uh, uh, unmark and uh, a box with a brand. Um, we got a second battery. We receive uh, the USB cable with a, a long plug here. This is a charger, wall charger, 220, 110. This is the European version, but you can get the US or UK version. This is uh, OTG, USB OTG. You got earphone. You got a quick start guide, Chinese on one side, and inside it's uh, in English. And it's really dedicated to the A9. And a small sticker. And the opening tool. Interface, it's a typical uh, 4.x uh, Android uh, uh, GUI. Access to widgets. Wallpapers. Some are animated wallpapers like this one. So at the bottom you got the phone, the contact list, SMS, MMS and browser. Two fingers, you got this menu. One, one finger, you got the alerts. Widget, you can move them around. I install the advanced task killer to see what the memory left. We have installed uh, many apps and at the end you still have 1.5 gig. It's because this is a 2 gig version, so the A9++ has 2 gig of uh, RAM. Let's look at the Antutu. We just tested uh, last week the Man Zug 3 and it scores uh, 17,600 and this one scores 19,700, so 2,000 more. And uh, the other phone has uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 200 and this one got the MT6582. So this one is a little bit stronger, so here you can see the results. And in a 3D score 3600, where the Zux3 score 4000. So overall it's better, but in a 3D it's a little less than the other uh, phones. We received the brand and uh, the Rock phone uh, company uh, told us it's called the Land Rover A9++, uh, plus plus, but here in the firmware it's called uh, ALPS, so Alps A9 Plus. It runs uh, Android 4.4. Um, here it says that it's got the, the MT6592, but it's not true uh, because this is a 8 core, and actually we checked uh, it's a 4 core. Uh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> it's a 4 core um, CPU. Also, the Mali 400 is uh, connected to the MT6582 and, and not to the 6592. Camera is 8 megapixel, EMA 35. Same here, it uh, says that uh, it's 3 gigabit of RAM, but it's not, it's uh, 2 gigabit of RAM. So the Antutu here has been uh, full run by uh, the firmware of the phone, but uh, so this again is false, it's not 8-core. 
screen is 480 times 854 density is 240 dpi it's a five point multi-touch screen camera so we have seen 8 megapixel it's written on the back here also and the webcam is 2 megapixel interesting is it support NFC so near field communication in a, it allow you to uh, pay via your phone and it got a lot of sensor direction a G sensor accelerometer light e compass proximity gyro temperature pressure linear acceleration and rotation vector so basically it got it all the all the sensor which is very good backup and restore browser let's watch at a flash video It works well. So let's go. I will directly put the URL here of the shop that sends us the phone. So it's uh, www dot rug phone co dot com and you access to the mobile version of the site with the latest phone here. Let's go to the best seller and the best seller you got this phone you got the feature you can see the price here colors available black green and uh, yellow like here this is the green version and the specs So breathing is well, calculator, calendar, you have different views, call for help, so I put this little pre preset message, help me I'm on the top of the Mont Blanc and you just put a number, uh, my phone numbers here, a list of phone numbers, you launch start and it will dispatch this message to uh, the pre-selected phone numbers. Camera. With uh, autofocus. Also you can get the GPS localization for each photo. It's uh, quite interesting for uh, outdoor and you can select different picture size clock word clock alarms timer chronometer downloads easy outgo so easy outgo it's an interesting uh, uh, software because it uses uh, outdoor sensors you have the e-compass here you have the temperature the pressure 
weather forecast, but you need to let the phone run three to four days to collect info, and I did not do that. Same, you have here an elevation sensor, and you can have uh, something uh, about a tide. So it's, uh, you see, you can stop it or let it run in, uh, in background. Email, file manager. This version compared to the A9 Plus, so this one is the A9 Plus Plus, and it got uh, 16 GB of RAM, in, uh, of ROM instead of 4, and it remains 12.67 available, and you can uh, add uh, up to uh, 64 GB of memory card. Radio, you need to uh, plug the earphone for it to, uh, to, 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 to work. Gallery. Accelerometer. You can forward, share the photos. You can rotate, crop. Google settings, GPS data. Let's uh, go outside for a while and uh, check how the GPS ships work. So GPS ships is uh, working well. But uh, it's a little hard to see on the screen, but uh, it got uh, 12 satellites and it can fix seven of them. But so today it's not uh, it's not a sunny day, but uh, the the screen is not super bright, so it's okay. But uh, I wonder myself on a very sunny day if we can uh, still look at the screen. Also, bon, there is a factory uh, screen protection. You'll see to uh, to take off, but it gives you an idea of. Uh, the brightness of the screen. Messaging, MTK engineering. This will allow us to check the networks, four bands for uh, GSM and five bands for 3G. So we have 800, 850, 900, now 9, 1900 and 2000. So it's uh, quite a lot of bands. It should work uh, all over the world. And for the second one, it's only uh, GSM, no data. Music. Sound is loud. A lot of uh, of power for uh, this speaker. It's actually uh, above uh, 100 dB. Here it's written 100 dB. News and weather from uh, so the app from Google, where you can have weather, but you can have also uh, top stories. Notebook, OOBE, it's a software uh, to set up your, uh, your phone. Phone book, phone function, Play Store of course. Quick start guy. Again, a tuto to help you to 
start well with your phone, search, settings, it can be a hotspot, you can configure NFC. You have the cast screen, it's uh, the Miracast, it's to connect or to duplicate your phone screen to your TV. I have installed quite some apps and you still have uh, 461 megabyte. Um, so it's not huge, but uh, it's uh, enough, I think, for most of the people. Languages. Let's check different languages. It's usually uh, quite complete now. Especially in uh, Android 4.4. Google added the newest language with this version. You can uh, print wirelessly also. And uh, it confirms that it's a real KitKat uh, version. SMS Toolkit, uh, Sound Recorder, to do and the videos. This is uh, some uh, small video I took around. So this is a webcam. And this is uh, the rear voilà camera. It's, uh, it's quite good, I would say. It's not bad. Let's now review some uh, full HD uh, videos. So this is a MKV. No problem for the MQV. Let's check. So, 4K are not played. It's not working. Let's see now. Uh, AVI. AV so, this is good. FLV. FLV is good. MP4, MP4, yeah, MP4. It's good also. And let's check the Microsoft standard. And again, I wonder why uh, video is played but sound is not played. So there should be uh, something with uh, Microsoft and Google. Okay, now let's play some games. So I incidentally touch 
the keys here. Uh, that okay now okay but uh, the games run very well on the phone now uh, let's look at uh, real racing 3 which is uh, a game quite demanding in power also so we are on uh, brand hatch with this uh, very nice Ford Focus RS no lag at all for the intro It looks uh, very smooth to me. Very smooth, easy to control. I think the, the phone is working very well on uh, real racing also. Well, very, very good. I'm impressed by uh, the fluidity of, uh, of the game. Nova 3 works well, real racing works fantastic. It's even a, a, a phone, a rock phone, where you can play heavy games. Um, once again, the Land Rover uh, A9 is, uh, is very good. So it's uh, now the third edition of this phone. And little by little, they have made uh, something uh, competitive in, uh, in price. Uh, we still got the Easy Outgo app with uh, all the, the functions. Now it runs the latest, one of the latest version of Android, the 4.4 in KitKat. Uh, GPS is there, Wi-Fi is there, Bluetooth, NFC, 4-core CPU, 2 GB RAM. Well, it's, uh, it's a well-developed product, the case still feel very strong I think it's one of the success of the phone is the quality of the of the case the quality of the phone uh, on the side it's a soft plastic to absorb shocks here the yellow part is a hard plastic and you have uh, also soft plastic basically all the black plastic that you see is soft and the yellow is uh, rigid and more hard plastic 
the USB and uh, here the audio jack. This door closed very well. It's really waterproof. Well, uh, it's uh, I think a, a good a good rock fun. And I, I really like it also. Design is a little rough. It's you need to uh, to see if uh, this uh, design that is made for you. But I think uh, for an outdoor phone, it's uh, it's very good. So we will uh, hopefully see you in uh, one week with a new video of uh, rock phone. Uh, and uh, this video is sponsored by the Rock Phone uh, company. So check the, the site and uh, go see the phones around. On the link is just down on the video. Bye bye.